Lots of jobs are up for grabs in Greensboro. The Tanger Center and the Greensboro Coliseum need new employees, so they held a job fair tonight to see what they could find. WFNY News 2's Grace Holland heard from others who showed up to find out what they're looking for. Well, my mom was like, you're getting a job. <laughs> I have a job or two, but I'm also looking for something more in my area. I'm just looking for any kind of employment. I think we both found some pretty good opportunities today. People on the job hunt as a post pandemic future becomes more present. It just it really feels weird having all this, you know, open movement. This job fair seeking applicants for the Greensboro Coliseum and the Tanger Center set to open later this year. I think it's amazing, <laughs> especially since I love like entertainment. Some theater lovers lining up for the chance to work around the stage. Definitely a positive thing to uh, open the doors and be there with a smile to see smiles after this great pandemic uh, that we've had here in, our, in this world. I can't just say our country. About 200 part time positions are open for jobs like ticket sellers, caterers, security and ushers at both the Tanger Center and the Coliseum Complex. Food and entertainment services, along with stage technician companies, also held interviews. Even if I'm backstage or if I'm working in concessions, I still get to get an opportunity to see it. Um, which has basically been a dream my whole life. So this is an amazing opportunity for someone like me. It comes as many businesses are struggling to find new hires. William Smith says he stops every time he sees a help wanted sign, but his search continues. With my background and everything that's going on right now, I'm limited to what I can do. Don't give up, continue looking. Keep your head up, keep your shoulders up. He and many others are hopeful this job fair will lead them to their big break. Organizers say they'll need plenty of help once the Tanger Center opens as the schedule grows. In Greensboro, Grace Holland, WFMY News 2.